Like it or not, things are changing in the world of personal transport. Although the jury is still out on whether we will shift to all electric, to hydrogen fuel cells, to synthetic fuels or some hybrid mix of these, and there is still discussion around the various pros and cons of each of them, time will ultimately tell. However, electric motorbikes are already here. Hello and welcome to Moto Chatter. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. In this video, we're gonna look at five electric motorbikes that are available now or should be available very soon. The thing that links them is they all have some very innovative and unique features, although they are still all very different, so there could be one that's just right for you. So sit back and enjoy, let's dive in. The Verge TS. Verge motorcycles and RMK vehicles, as far as I'm aware, operate out of Finland, and they bring us the Verge TS. Although to some degree all the bikes here are futuristic, with its hubless rear wheel, the Verge TS looks like it's ridden straight out of a Tron movie. Although information on the big cruiser is light, it has an 80 kilowatt or 107 horsepower motor producing 1,000 newton meters or 737 pound foot of torque. Top speed is 180 kilometers around 112 miles per hour and it can hit 100 kilometers or 60 miles an hour in under four seconds. It has a range of 300 kilometers, 180 six miles in the city which goes down to 200 kilometers or around 124 miles on the highway with a dc charger it is reported to charge 100 kilometers in 15 minutes with a full charge available in four hours the integrated rim motor as well as giving it the futuristic standout look also means there is less maintenance as there is no chain or belt and it will have a seamless connection with the motor although how it's going to get a thousand newton meters down onto the road through the rear tire i'm not sure from the pictures we can can see that it has Olin suspension front and rear with Brembo brakes and Pirelli tires, although these are not confirmed for the production model. It does though have a reinforced aluminium frame and a range of colour options. Prices start at €24,990 and deposits are being taken now. The Damon Hypersport. Damon Motorcycles is based in Vancouver, Canada, with the Hypersport originally being launched in 2020. Clearly a high performance sports bike, the Hypersport looks sleek and futuristic, and I certainly like the design. But it's not all show. There are four versions of the Hypersport the Premier, which comes with all in suspension, Brembo brakes, and a single sided swing arm. It also is the fastest and most powerful version. There is the HS, which has the same performance as the Premier, but without the all ins and brakes and it has a double-sided swing arm. Below that, there is the SX and SE versions. All the Hypersports come with some unique features. Co-Pilot is an advanced warning system which operates using BlackBerry QNX technology using radar, cameras, and other sensors to track numerous moving objects around the bike to give advanced warning of hazards via haptic feedback through the bars and windscreen LEDs. The Hypersports are also equipped with Shift, which allows you to change the riding position at the touch of a button while moving, raising and lowering the bars and foot pegs simultaneously with two modes, Sport and Commuter. The Hypersports also come with 4G connectivity and onboard artificial intelligence. The motor is called the Hyperdrive and forms a structural part of the bike's monocoque frame, while still accommodating different sized battery packs. The motor is oil cooled and can reach 6000 RPM and has peak torque of 235 Newton meters or 173 pound foot. With all the Hypersport models having in excess of 200 Newton meters of torque, and all are capable of 0 to 60 miles per hour or 0 to 100 kilometers an hour in under three seconds. The differences between the models is related to the battery size, the power, the top speed, range, and charge time. Also, the available colors and the price. If you don't want to pay outright for the bike, there is also a subscription option. The seat height is 32 inches or 830 millimeters. If you're looking for a high performance electric motorcycle, this is probably the way to go. The Italian Volt La Cama. Italian Volt is part of the Tazari EV group and is based in Imola, Italy. Their bike, La Cama, which is short for La Camaleontica, which means little chameleon in Italian, is aptly named as it is endlessly customizable. Buyers can not only mix their own paint, but all the body parts are 3D printed for a truly unique look exactly as you want it. And they are also modular, so can be changed for a new design or new style at any time. Under the bodywork, 
there is a cast aluminium frame, it comes with a TFT dash with dedicated phone app and integrated GPS and also has Brembo brakes. It will hit 100 kilometers an hour or 60 miles per hour in under 4 seconds and go on to a top speed of 200 kilometers an hour or around 124 miles an hour. It has a range of up to 200 kilometers or around 124 miles and Italian vaults say the Lacama should be an extension of the rider's personality. There is no pricing available but I would expect it to depend on the design you choose. The 3D printing should help to keep costs down as there won't be the need to create one-off tooling. So if you're looking for a cafe racer style bike that's truly unique, this could be the option for you. The M-Flux 1 Mflux Motors is a team of 25 engineers, designers and other fields based in India. They propose to produce the bike in very limited numbers, 199 for India and 300 for export. So although being one of the more affordable bikes in this video, it is also one of the most exclusive. According to their press info, Mflux plans to focus more on their EV drivetrain, battery and charger technology and license that to other companies. Coming back to the bike itself, there are two versions. Standard, which is priced at $9,300 and the upgrade package at $17,150. The upgrade package includes Olin suspension, forged wheels and carbon fiber body panels. Each bike has a 60 kilowatt motor limited to 53 kilowatts or 71 horsepower with torque limited to 75 newton meters or 55 pound foot. Top speed is 200 kilometers an hour or 124 miles an hour and it will arrive at 100 kilometers an hour or around 60 miles an hour in under three seconds. Range in the city is 200 kilometers or 124 miles and on the highway 150 kilometers at 80 kilometers an hour or 93 miles at 50 miles an hour. The 9.7 kilowatt hour battery can be charged to 80% in 36 minutes using the M-Flux warp charger and the one comes with a 7 inch dash with GPS, front and rear cameras, wireless connectivity, charger locator on the dash via the M-Flux app and also bike to bike connectivity. It has all round LED lights, a single sided swing arm, regen braking, Brembo 4 piston calipers, ABS and arrives on Pirelli Diablo Rosso 2 tyres. I like the trellis frame and the rear end design of the bike stands out for me. In any event, the upgraded package with full all-ins, carbon panels and forged wheels seems like a bargain for just over $17,000. US It's also a nice colour. The Kimco Revenex. Kimco is a Taiwanese company, although when originally unveiled in 2019, it was revealed that the Revenex is to be built in Milan, Italy and set to be available this year. The most distinguishing feature of the Revenex is that it has a six speed gearbox. Kimco designed the Revenex with the philosophy that changing gear is the art of motorcycle riding. Even though with the Kimco Revenex you can enjoy the familiar feeling of changing through the gears, it isn't always necessary to do so. Second gear can be used all the time for city riding without the need to change at all, having a top speed in second gear of 115 kilometers an hour or 71 miles an hour. The top speed is 205 kilometers an hour or 127 miles an hour with a 0 to 100 kilometers an hour or 0 to 60 time in 3.9 seconds and 0 to 205 kilometers an hour or the top speed in 11.8 seconds. To go along with the gear changes, the Revenex has an active acoustic motor where the sounds of the electric motor are enhanced to give it its own electric engine sound. The Revenex comes with traction control and rear wheel lift control along with four rider modes including a quiet one. Further details on the Revenex are a bit scarce including exactly when one might be available but it does appear to have Brembo brakes and Olin suspension in the photos. Hopefully they carry through to production so with these added to the gear change it could prove to have a very decent on-road performance and I like the overall design of the bike. It manages to be traditional and cutting edge at the same time. The thought of not having to give up Revenex through the gears and not having to lose one of the most involving parts of riding is certainly a good one, especially if we do end up having to go all electric. So which one of these five would you consider? Or maybe there's an electric motorbike that you like that I haven't mentioned here. Maybe you don't like the idea of electric motorbikes at all. Let me know in the comments below where you stand. I'd be really interested to know. And if you like the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing for plenty more motorcycle videos to come. And whatever you do, have a great day and thanks for watching.